taught the hybrid and online teacher training course at Craven Community College. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a quiz in Moodle. The quiz activity enables a teacher to create quizzes comprising questions of various types, including multiple choice, matching, short answer, and numerical. I am going to demonstrate how to create a simple quiz for students here in my hot sandbox. To start, we will turn editing on and go to the section where we want to add our quiz. Start by adding an activity or resource. Find the quiz. Select Add. Now we need to give our quiz a title. I'm going to title this one Example Quiz. I could add a description. I'm going to expand all so I can see all of the options available. And this is where I can set the timing. So I can open the quiz at a certain time by enabling this checkbox and setting the time and the date. I could close the quiz at a certain time by enabling this checkbox and selecting a time or date. I could also set a time limit on my quiz by enabling this box and then setting the time here. So if I wanted my quiz to last for 20 minutes, I could select that. I also have the option of weeks, days, hours, and seconds for a time limit. I, when the time expires, I can determine what happens to the quiz. Are attempts submitted automatically? Is there a grace period where open attempts can be submitted but no more questions can be answered? Or attempts must be submitted before time expires or they are not counted. So I have control as the teacher of those settings. In my class, I typically do not set a time limit, so I would disable this box and then uh, there are no options down here that would be applicable because students would just submit the quiz once they were finished with it. Next in this area, I want to make sure that my quiz grade goes into a category in my gradebook that I've previously set up. So I'm going to drop down and select Revel Quizzes for my category for this quiz to go into. The grade to pass really doesn't do anything in the gradebook other than it highlights anyone whose grade does not meet the criteria that you set here. So if I said my grade to pass is 80 percent, every student who did not meet an 80 on this quiz would have a highlighted color in the gradebook so that I could flag that and know that that student did not have the passing grade. I can decide how many attempts that students would get on this quiz here. Um, the layout, I like to have each question on its own page so I can select that here or I could have you know two questions on a page and so forth. There's a show more here so I can decide how students can navigate in the quiz, whether they can freely jump from question to question or if they have to answer questions in chronological order actually. I typically don't shuffle questions within my quiz because if, for example, one of my answers is all of the above or none of the above and it shuffles that, it will be not the last question. So I just leave my questions in the order that I originally put them in. And we can also decide how students will receive feedback. I like deferred feedback so they get no feedback from the quiz until after they finish it. The teacher can also determine the type of review options available to the student during the attempt, immediately after the attempt, later while the quiz is open, or after the quiz is closed. I leave these at default because my quiz seems to work just the way I want it with the default settings. Parents I also leave at the default. I do not typically put extra restrictions on attempts or overall feedback or common module settings. I can restrict access if I need to. Activity completion is covered in another tutorial, but you certainly can set up activity completion for your quiz. Uh, tags, you can enter some tags so it's searchable. And if your course is competency-based, you can link your competencies here. To add quiz questions to your quiz, you can save and display. You will now be presented with a screen where you can edit the quiz. So this opens a new page and let's just take a quick look around this page. First of all, we see there are zero questions so far. The quiz is opened and the maximum grade is 100% and we can add a question right here using this add button. So let me add and I'm going to add a new question and I'm going to keep it simple to start with. So let's do a simple multiple choice question. 
and we will select add and we will give our question a name. I'm just going to say question one and the question text is where we write our question for the students and I will ask them which college do they attend and scrolling down I'm going to have only one answer available. I am not going to shuffle the choices I have made answer choice one, Craven Community College, and since that is the correct answer, the grade will be 100% for when students choose that answer. I could give feedback and say correct. The next choice I, I've already typed in was Pamlico Community College, and if I leave it at none, that tells Moodle that this is an incorrect answer, and I could say incorrect. This is the feedback that we were talking about, and Pitt Community College would also be incorrect. So let me add that word here. You do not have to put feedback in here, but you can if you want. So now that I've got that set up, I'm going to save changes. We can now see that we have one question, and we could preview the question. Here is the question one that we just wrote, and to preview and see what it looks like, we can come over to this little magnifying glass and take a look and see what our question looks like. If we find that there are changes that need to be made, we can come to this gear and select that, and now we are back in our screen where we can edit our, our question. Let's practice adding another question type. I'm going to add a new question, and this time I'm going to make it a true-false question and add. My question name I've named Q2 for question 2. My question text, the name of our college is Craven Community College. I've phrased that as a statement since it is not a question, it's a true or false. So the correct answer I need to select here is true and I could give feedback for the response of true as correct and feedback for the response of false as incorrect if I would like. I'm going to save changes and now we can see question two here on this screen. Let's try another question type. I'm going to add a new question and this time I'm going to select matching. I'm going to add and it's going to be question three. The question text for a matching question is just the instructions, and so I've already filled this in. Uh, question one, uh, these are the answers and the questions. So Greenville, Pitt Community College is the answer. So the student would match Pitt Community College to Greenville. Raleigh would be matched to Wake Tech Community College, and New Bern would be matched to Craven Community College. In addition, I may want to include an in, another incorrect answer choice. So in that case, I could add blanks for three more questions. I don't have to use them all, but it'll give me that option. And I would use, I would make question four blank. And this incorrect answer is going to be Pamlico. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and save changes. And let's take a look at this question. So if we preview, we will see that students can match each college name to its correct city and when they drop down they have the four choices that we put into the answer choices. Before we go on I wanted to return to my course and show you how you can get back into this quiz and do some editing anytime you need to. So back in my course I'm going to click on the the quiz itself and notice over here there's a gear with a drop down and this is my administrative settings for the quiz. So I could edit the settings of the quiz. I could edit the quiz. This is where I would go to add questions or modify any of the questions I've already put in there. So these are just some of the types of questions you can use on quizzes in Moodle. Please take a moment to explore your options. So that's it. Thank you for joining me for this hot topic of creating quizzes in Moodle. See you next time.